Tonight, the Florida Democratic Party is calling on Miami Mayor Francis Suarez to resign. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. They are citing corruption allegations, including the mayor using his political power for private gain. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor joins us from Miami City Hall with reaction from both sides. Let's start by saying that this is not the first time Mayor Francis Suarez has been asked to resign from his position. Public office is a public trust. Only one day after Francis Suarez faced questions about an investigation by our news partners at the Miami Herald, alleging he advocated for a no-bid city contract benefiting his private employer's partner, the Florida Democratic Party is calling on the mayor to resign. It is really important for the public to be able to trust their public officials. Party chair Nikki Fried says Mayor Suarez has corroded trust from all constituents. And you can't be trusted with, with, with the dollars from, from the city, and you certainly can't be trusted to make decisions that are in the best it, 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 the best interest of the city. The mayor's office did respond about a separate complaint, alleging he misused public resources by having Miami police officers accompany him during his brief presidential campaign. The statement read in part the Florida Ethics Commission dismissed yet another frivolous complaint filed against Mayor Suarez, citing lack of legal sufficiency. That complaint was filed by Miami activist Thomas Kennedy. He says another one of his complaints is pending. On, the, on, on Mayor Suarez's acceptance of high dollar gifts from lobbyists that have business before the city of Miami, something that is forbidden under state law of that investigation will go before uh, the ethics board on March. It's a shame uh, of what's happened to the mayor. And I certainly hope that he takes um, my and then the party's statements. If Mayor Suarez is not a Democrat, why? has the Florida Democratic Party asked him to resign? Because public corruption on either side of the aisle, it is up to us to call it out. On her statement, Friedman wrote, if Mayor Suarez refuses to resign, Ron DeSantis needs to do the job for him and suspend him from office. I have no doubt that if Mayor Suarez was a Democrat, he would have been removed from office several scandals ago. This is not the first time that Mayor Suarez has been asked to resign. Newly elected Commissioner Damian Pardo said the mayor should resign last December, and two former police chiefs, Art Acevedo and Jorge Colina, also publicly called for the mayor's resignation. Mayor Suarez suggested on Tuesday hiring an independent auditor to make sure there's no conflict of interest among elected officials in the city of Miami. In Coconut Grove, I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.